Why, hello, welcome back to another Lord Fish video on Blender. And today we're going to be making a washer and dryer. And like always, we will do a good job, but we will do it fast and efficiently. And probably not the conventional way you're used to learning. But anyways, let's get started. I've already taken the time to size my stuff. I'm going to be using uh, Unreal. It's up to you to size your own stuff because I don't know what you're going to be using. I'm going to start off with a block, and like we always do, and we are going to make a washer and dryer out of it. So first off, we are going to hit, we are going to go into tab to edit mode, and we're going to hit control B. And we're just going to drag it a little bit. We're going to roll the inner part of our mouse out a few times until we get a nice edge that we want to keep. Dryers are still pretty square, washers are still pretty square, so I'm going to leave it like that just for the edges are slightly rounded for now. We're going to make another piece that we're going to need, of course. Um, and which one will we make first? I think we will make a... Let's make the whole body first, actually. So with this one, we got to be careful not to change the size too much because we want it to fit one way rather than the other. So don't drag it too much at once. Let go and redrag it because you will flip axes and that will mess your piece up. Oops. So let's go a little thicker, actually. I think I went too thin. So, and then we're going to grab this front edge, like so, and we're just going to go to our arrows and just kind it back just a little bit, because that's the way washers and dryers usually are. I believe I could be mistaken. If you've got a better picture in your head of how it is, you go ahead and make the adjustments accordingly. I'm going to go with this. I'm going to make it a little bit shorter and just kind of make it look right to myself. You guys go ahead and do the same thing. Something like so, I think, is going to be right. And then I'm just going to take it and hit S just ever so slightly. So when we finish the edges, they're going to tuck into the machine and disappear, and we're not going to have any nasty edges. But we still got to do a little bit of cleanup work, so let's go ahead and grab the piece again and drag it up. We're going to go into edit mode, and we're going to hit L over top. It's going to highlight the whole thing. And then we're going to just one by one, just click off the edges we don't want, which are the bottom edges. We're going to roll, we're going to hit control B and just let that roll over a little bit, like so. We don't want to go too much, and we'll move our piece into place, like so. Something like that. Looks pretty good to me. We Obviously, we're going to have to move it back a little bit to try to match it up with the back a little better. Something like so. Might have to move it around here or there, but I think we're pretty much in place there. We've got the look of a washer dryer now. We need to make it a little more specific. So um, unfortunately, we're not going to be able to put a hole in it if we attach it. So let's just think of the best way to do this. Okay, and what do we say we're going to do first? A washer. So before we do anything, I guess, um, let's take both these and we're going to hit Shift D. I'm just going to drag this up like so. Okay. Now we're going to go ahead and maybe we'll drag that one up just a little bit more to give us a better view. And then we can use the same piece again when we make our second piece. Um, I'm going to go ahead and make a cylinder. And we're going to shrink that down to about so. And actually maybe a little more like this. And then we'll shrink it the other way a little bit. Like so. All right. And... Then we're going to shift D it and we'll drag it through the top like so and we'll shrink it down. So now we're going to need to grab that inner one then we're going to grab this outer one and we're going to see if this is going to work. I might have made a mistake here but we'll see real quick. Did not seem to work. Maybe I didn't have it highlighted right. Let's go back one. Oh no I did not. There we go. And there you go. You'll see we have two layers in here now. So the dryer gets bigger when we get to the inside. So it did pretty much work how I wanted it to. So now we're just going to grab this and we're going to hit control, left click. I'm in edit mode, of course, with tab. And we're just going to follow it around and left or control, left click after you hit the initial left click to highlight the first part. When you've got the full ring perfectly all around, I'm going to pull it up a little bit. Oops, actually we can't do that actually. 
So how else would we do this, you're wondering? Okay, well, let's go back a little bit to before we made our cut. And we will just go back one more. And now we just have those two pieces. We'll just move it up a little closer to the top. And it's exactly what we wanted. We're just not moving that in our lip now. And we'll grab this outside one, pool tool, and difference. Okay. And it should be perfectly centered on the piece too, which should be good. Um, Jeep, Jeepers Creepers, I forgot one thing. We're gonna hit Shift D on just this one piece up here, and we'll just drag this up here. And you'll see why in one second. We're gonna have to grab that inner piece, so just grab this block and click in the middle of it again. Should get you that inner block. Then we're gonna hit Shift, left click to grab the second one, and then Shift, left click to grab the third one. We're gonna pull to it difference and sorry about that little bit of trouble there so we're gonna make this a lot thinner first off and it's just gonna be a little door that goes on top so keep that in mind um, how do we want to do this um, okay I know how we do this we'll go to faces up here we'll grab this one and we'll grab this one and we'll hit I we'll go in like that and then we're gonna hit E and then we're gonna right click to cancel it and then we're going to go to this scaler, and we're just going to smooth this right down like that. We're not going to flip the faces, so that's probably going to be good. And then we can make the whole piece a little thinner like that. And that looks pretty good to me. Um, the only thing we're really missing is a hinge, maybe, if you want to put a hinge where it flips open. But it should perfectly fit, almost a little too perfectly. And if that's the case and you're not happy and you want to see that edge a little more, just hit S. Just drag it in ever so slightly, like so. So now we got a washer. Um, we could probably go ahead and attach these pieces now. Control J. And then we can go ahead and make some buttons for our, our, our dryer. Sorry, I keep on calling it a washer. All right, so we're gonna do one of those and make sure you're out of edit mode when you make that. And we're gonna flip it sideways by hitting that. Oops, I hit the wrong one, my bad. It'd be this one. There we go. And we're gonna hit S and shrink it down and bring it up here. Hit S and shrink it down. And then we're gonna design it to look like more like a handle. So um, let's start off by going, oh, sorry, I went into edit mode with tab and then we're gonna hit Control R and we're gonna make one of these rings. And I'm just gonna drag it way down here, like so. And then I'm gonna hit Control R again, and I'm gonna make another one of those rings, but I'm just gonna move it slightly up from the other one. And then I'm gonna grab this front edge and with left click, and then Control left click, following it all the way around until we got the whole thing. Oops, I grabbed the wrong one. We're just gonna shift left click to let go of that one and shift left click to grab this last one. And I'm gonna shrink it down a little bit like this. As you can see, it's starting to look like a handle. Well, let's just move it back because it came forward when we shrank it until it makes a little more sense. Like so, maybe a little bit forward. And then I'm gonna go over here to the scaler and I'm just gonna move it sideways like this. If you'd like to design it a little different, we can make this one piece back here and use maybe a square for the front, but I think that's a pretty cool little design for this thing. And then we're gonna grab it and just grab this one face. So we'll go to faces up here and we'll shrink it down like so. And uh, maybe we'll go even skinnier up here just to give it more like uh, contrast on the on the piece itself. And then we'll shrink it this way. Just realistically, they're not that big. And then we'll shrink it a little bit this way. And that should be about right for you. So as you can see, it's not quite lined up. We're gonna have to find the right angle to put it on, which should not be a problem. We can just go to angles and just roll it back like so. I think that's about right, maybe a bit more. And you can just take the time you need to match up that angle a little better than I have. You should get a perfectly even edge like that when you got it right. Before I put it on and attach it, maybe if you need to, you can go ahead and do a little bit of coloring on it to start before we attach it. So let's grab that piece, and I'm just gonna move that because it's a little confusing on the arrows. I'm gonna go hit tab to get in tab to see what we can do here, and we'll hit plus, 
and new. And as you can see, I'm clicked down here and I'm clicked up here, giving us a coloring window. And we'll start off by making the thing black. So I'll just adjust this till it's black. Make sure you're doing the right ones. And if you want to give it a bit more coloring, we can, I don't know, um, hmm. I don't know, we could add one of these and uh, stretch it out to be more like the circle itself, like so. And we can go ahead and make that a separate color if we want, or um, I don't know how we'd make it more colors than one, to be honest, but give it a try. I'd just go to faces and follow this around or something. And we'll just give this a different color for an example to see, you know, depending on how you might want to do it. Maybe you've got a little more uh, design um, ideas than I do. And I'm just going to give it a random color like that. So it looks kind of cooler. Um, you can make this one up here red if you wanted to, to symbolize the uh, where the on part would be on it. All up to you again. So there we go. That's that. We can shift D it when we're ready. Um, actually, let's delete that. Let's drag this one over a little bit. And we'll shift D again. And then we'll shift D again. And we will go to here. And we will just add a minus here. And we'll shift D this one. And we will add a minus here. We're just making a second one and changing the location to the exact opposite. So now that we've done that, we can go ahead and join them. And we should have one piece for everything. You might want to disattach your door if you want your door to open. But you can do the coloring together first. So let's go ahead and finish the coloring on everything. So um, probably it's going to be want to be white in your game that you're going to make this. So we'll just go ahead and I'm just going to make it just slightly off white. For I know it's been colored and it has its own individual color. And did I make a new one? I'm not sure. Let's just drag this just slightly like that. And as you can see, it makes everything that color that we've highlighted. And that's perfectly what we want. If you want to put a little logo on it or not, something, now's the time probably. We're going to flip on this. And I'm going to have to come onto the inside and grab that inner lip like so. We can make this a glass color for you can see inside of your washer. And it should look a little nicer that way. If you'd like to add any more details, feel free to. Maybe you want to make the back gray, something like that, metal looking. That actually might be a good idea. Just try to match it up as best as you can to the piece above, like so. And let's just make that gray, just add a bit more detail. And there we go. And as you can see, the shapes are just a tad off. So we're going to go ahead and shape smooth this whole piece. And then we're going to go down to our normals. And we're going to change that to 35 and hope that it looks good and check this off. Looks pretty dang good, I'd say. I'm not really sure what else you need for a washer. I think it's pretty good. So I'm going to call that piece done at least. And we can move on to the dryer. You can move these two down. Um, it doesn't have to be exactly up, down, and in place. Probably would help a bit, but uh, maybe we'll drag it a little farther than normal. So we're going to hit Control A, and we're going to get ourselves a washer now. So let's get our washer. Again, we're going to need to flip this piece, so we're just going to go to this, and I think it's the last one. It was, so we're going to shrink this, something like so. And we're going to use the same technique we used on the other side. We're going to hit Shift D again. We're going to drag that piece through, and we're going to make it smaller, something like this. And you should see exactly where your lines are going to be now. So maybe we'll move it a bit forward more. And we're going to need an extra one of these like we did on the last one. So we'll just drag that a bit forward more. And there we go. We made a front end a dryer loader. You can make this bigger if you'd like. Just make both of them bigger if you do. And make sure it's smaller than the second one. There you go. And we'll click the third one with shift left click. And that should be good. And we'll go ahead and bool difference. All right. And as you can see, we got the same idea going on there. And we can quickly make a door for here, just like we did on the other one. 
and the only difference being is one would load top and one would load bottom. Um, you can put some more differences in if you need to. Maybe a lint trap on the dryer might be a good thing. Just to separate them a little differently. And we'll hit I. We'll drag it in and we'll hit I ag E again, sorry. E. And then right click to cancel it and drag it in after. And we can go ahead and color this right now. Um, actually, it's not. Let's put it back in place. So we're going to get out of edit mode. Grab it, drag it thin, as thin as you want. Put it back in place. Perfect. And if you want to, you can even cheat a little bit on this one. Watch this. All right. So we're going to go into this one. We're going to click off everything. We're just going to click L, 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 L. And Shift D it. And then push P and selection. And what we've done is went into edit mode and copied those pieces. So now we can move them over here and make a second set of switches without actually having to design them. We've found a little bit of a cheat. And as you can see, you can make sure they're in place. And um, the only thing is they're not perfectly in center. So let's see what we can do about that. Let's see if we can do one of those. Yep, there we go. Perfectly in center now. And go ahead and attach it. Sorry. That, that that and this we'll go ahead and attach them all and they all took on that yellow tint because we started the pieces from the same pieces so it should be that easy and then we just need to go back in edit mode we'll grab that face um try to grab the inner face if we can there we there we go <laughs> and we'll make them the same blue for see-throughness and all the other color, color palettes should already be the same one left last thing left to do is we're going to want to shade smooth it and we're going to want to fix the normal so we'll hit 35 and check it off beautiful if you'd like to add a little bit of more detail you're always welcome to you can do something like um this and say you drag it forward like so and then you can grab this maybe we'll grab it from down here and we'll just which one do we grab actually let's make sure we stay on the right line here and you can just hit control left click and follow it around and go all the way back down to here and if we hit s we can actually move it in a little bit and as you can see it's just going to give it a little bit of a contour at the front you can uh, make that bigger smaller whatever you need to do Maybe it's a little too big, but you get the idea. Anyways, and if you don't like it, just go ahead and undo it. Let's go back to it. I'm not sure if it looks good or not. Um, we can even add another one in between to make the liner even smaller. And you're probably going, well, what do you mean? Well, just like this. And when we do it here, because the other two lines are so close together shouldn't be such a big dent as you can see it just gives it a little bit of contour and i think that looks a lot better and if you're looking for that there you go that's how you're going to do that okay let's do one more um just to give it a little bit more of a color scheme and uh, make it stand out more you can um, go to faces and we're just going to add a different color here reason being is maybe you want to add a logo maybe you want to just have more colors to make it stand out more um Go ahead and make a new color, and we will make it, I don't know, a different yellow. It's just holding the slot for your color anyways. So you can assign it, and it should be good, and it'll have a little bit more of a color scheme. I just wanted to add those little parts in there. In case you guys are interested, then you know how to do it. And we don't have that color over here, so let's just go ahead and make it. washer and dryer that fast that easy so if you have any ideas requests or anything else you'd like to see in these videos i know you guys asked for an import video and i'm going to have queen fish do one probably on the weekend if we get a chance but it is christmas and we have been a little busy so we're going to do our best but we don't we can't guarantee for sure hopefully you guys like the work done today and if you do make sure you fire a thumbs up at the video and check out some of my other blender videos i'm sure you're going to love thanks for watching and we'll see you next time Bye bye